to ask the children in her class which of three games they like the best. She makes a tally mark to show each child's answer. Which game did the most children choose? Which did the fewest choose? So first, what do I need to find? The tally marks. How many tally marks there are? And I noticed on several of your papers from homework that you did not write the total. Why is it important to write the total over here? So you don't get mixed up, so you know what the numbers are, okay? So sometimes it's easy to look up there and see how many tally marks there are. So sometimes it can be a little bit confusing. So if I write the total, it's a lot quicker and faster to see than having to look at the tally marks again. So remember first grade, when I see this group like this, I should automatically know that there are how many tally marks in there? Five. Very good. Exactly like our hands, like our fingers. Okay. So what number am I going to write right here? Go ahead and do that. How many chose puzzles? Very good. So write that in the total, please. And then how many chose board games? Ten. Very good. So they write ten in your total. Okay. So now we're going to use the tally mark or the tally chart to help us answer the questions because it has the information that I need to know. So which game has the most tally marks or which one did the children choose most often? The board game. So do you see how my three options are right here? So I want you to circle the board game. What story does this tally chart tell? My favorite game. Okay, it tells about our favorite game. Is that a good title for it? Yes. I think so. You're exactly right. That tells about the favorite games of the class. Very good job. So if I wanted to add another one to this chart, could I put lunch? No. No, because it's not a game. It's not a game. Can I put math? No. What? If it's a math game. If it's a math game, but is it, did I say math game? No. No. What could I add to this chart? Numbers. Splash math. I could add that. Football. Reading X. Basketball. Baseball. Bless you. Soccer ball. So let's put football. Okay? Or you don't have to do this. I'm just going to put this. Okay? And then we might ask them and have some tally marks and put a total. Okay? Let's answer this last question. Which game did the fewest children choose? The puzzle. So please circle the puzzle. Okay. So we know how to read a tally chart from yesterday. There were three different graphs now that we have talked about. What are the three graphs we have talked about? What's one? Okay, a tally chart, which we just did today. That's another one. Very good. Picture graph. And then what is the last one we've talked about? Not a word. Not a number. Bar a bar graph. There we go. Thank you.
Remember the bar graph? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Turn your paper over. How can you make a tally chart to show the boats on the lake? <laughs> Okay, we're going to cross it out as we put the tallies on. So this one says boats with sails. So I need to only do the boats with sails. Okay, so it already has the bo two boats with sails and the two tally marks. Are there more boats with sails? Okay, so each time you add another boat, you need to put another tally mark. You need to be careful because if you already have four and you want to add one more, what do I do? First three? Put it across. Okay? And then don't forget to write your total. Then I want you to find the boats without sails and then put them on the tally chart. And don't forget your total as well. Okay, This is how I can make my own tally chart. Does everyone understand how to make a tally chart? Do you notice that the tally chart has a title, whoops, has a, a title, do you notice that? And then it also has a total. Why does it have a total? So you don't get confused. So you don't get confused, so it's easily, more easily, easy to read. Okay? 